Hey, what's up guys? Quincy Jones here, bringing you another Rainbow Six Siege video. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Uh, hope you guys are also enjoying the new upload schedule. Maybe give you guys more time to watch the videos if you're busy one day or something. So, uh, And today I want to talk about the new Rainbow Six characters. I played with them a little bit to get used to them before I recorded a video for you guys. Um, I really like the two I have right now. I did not get Ella, which I... Heard is the best one. I really want to get her, and when I get 25k renown, I am gonna pick her up and start using her. But uh, for this video, you're gonna see me using uh, using Legion and Ying, and uh, I want to explain a little bit about how I like what I like about him and what I don't. Ying, pretty much, if you guys don't know, she has like these little uh, they look like little pokeballs, and you set you can set them on like a door or a window, or you can throw them. And they shoot out like five or six little flash grenades. And then um, she can go into a room and not get flashed herself because of her high-tech goggles. And uh, take out a whole team. It will flash um, the other uh, team. It can also flash your teammates, so you have to be careful about that. But uh, that's what she does. One thing I don't really like about Ying, though, um, and flash grenades in general, sometimes flashes are very inconsistent, as you guys have seen through uh, Rainbow. Uh, sometimes you can throw it right at a dude and hit him like right in the face with it and it won't flash him and sometimes they'll be all the way across the room and they'll get flashed by it. So sometimes it's just very inconsistent and I don't like that. And I also don't like even regular flash uh, grenades. I don't like that you can flash your teammates because uh, that's just how you get picked off. So, um, But I really do uh, like Ying. Her gun is like an LMG sort of. It holds, I don't know how many bullets, I think 81 and uh, it's kind of it's kind of crazy because you don't have to reload like you do on most guns. You just keep shooting, and that's that's another good trait about her. And then uh, moving on to Legion, uh, he's an Asian dude that puts down um, these goo needles, which uh, when you run through a doorway, first of all they're cloaked, so like people can't really see them. So when you run through a doorway, uh, they stick in your leg and they take down your health like every five seconds that you don't pull out the needle, and uh, I think it was meant to slow down the gameplay, like for Ash rushing or uh, like Hibana or IQ. People just rushing into objective, it'll slow them down a little bit, make them take some cover to pull out that needle and then push in. But uh, one thing I like about him, first of all, you get seven of them. But the thing I don't like is it takes like 30 to 40 seconds to be able to get one needle back. So um, not really a huge fan of that. And also. Um, well, this isn't like something I don't like about it. It's something I do like about him. His gun, I feel, is really good for me. Like I am not very good with the recoil. It doesn't seem like it has very much recoil to me. It just, uh, sorry about that. That was my phone in the background if you guys heard that. But um, it feels like it doesn't have very much recoil to me. It feels like it's perfect. I've been getting headshots with it a lot and uh, whipping on kids with it. So, um yeah, those are the new operators that I have. Like I said, I'm going to try to get Ella as soon as possible. And pretty much what Ella does is she has, I don't exactly know, but these there are these little things you throw on a wall, and it sort of disorients you. Like, um, oh, what's his name? Echo. It sort of disorients you like Echo does, and uh, you have to take cover to be able to uh, not, like, be disoriented. And it's sort of like Echo, too. If you get hit by it, don't run. If you stand still, it'll go away faster. If you run, it'll keep going longer and uh her gun is the scorpion which is overpowered i was watching anthony play with the scorpion and literally there was no recoil on that gun and her pistol is overpowered too it's got a red dot sight and uh i don't know how many bullets it holds but it's like a three shot pistol like just pow 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 they're dead it's nuts but uh, I'm really enjoying the new operators and now the new map. I don't really know how the new map works. I haven't played it very much. But from what I have played of it, it's very confusing. But it's just like all the other maps. I'll get used to it, figure out where the uh, spawn peaks are like a sweaty. And I'll figure out where to hunker down when I'm on defense and where to push through when I'm on offense. But Theme Park seems like a really good map. And then uh, another thing about this update also is... My favorite thing overall is the damn lighting. You can actually look out a window and it won't be dark, well, won't be bright as shit. And you can look into a window, into objective, and it won't be dark as shit where you can't see anything. 
So like it's perfect lighting now. You can see everything um, a lot better. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, if you enjoyed, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on notifications. And I'm going to leave my Twitter and the link in the description below. I'm just going to let the uh, game sounds play out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.